No. Ron. What are you doing here? Running away from my problems. Come on in. Okay, so here's what's going on. I didn't on ask. On Friday, I'm supposed to announce that I'm running for city council. And I haven't told Ben yet. I know I said that we broke up, but we couldn't. We're still dating. But now I have to break up with him for real, but I don't want to break up with him because he's so cute and he's so nice. And if you're going to stay here, there are three rules you need to follow. One, no talk about Tammy. One, two, no talk about Ben. Three, no talk. I didn't even ask you last night. What is going on with Tammy one? You just violated rules number one and three. You lose your coffee privileges. Oh. Oh, you choose, nope. Hunting, fishing, or drinking. I really love to shoot a gun right now. Fishing it is. So, running for office. Now I'm gonna have to find a replacement for you. I might not win. You'll win. I might not run. You should. What's our plan here, nope? I figure we build a fire, roast the fish we shot, and uh, make s'mores. I don't have the material for s'mores. I do. I always carry emergency s'more rations in my car. Given your hunting abilities and my chocolate supply, I figure we could stay up here for two, three years. You know, when I was 12, my brother shot me in the pinky toe with a nail gun. Granted, it was a hilarious prank, and we all had a good laugh. That's awful. But I avoided going to the doctor. I hate paperwork. After a few weeks, the toe just kind of fell off. You only have nine toes? I have the toes I have. Let's just leave it at that. The point is, the doctor said if I had come in right away, they might have saved the toe. You can't run away from your problems. Especially if you only have nine toes. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm Ron Swanson, and you're Leslie <laughs> Nope. You with me? Hunting. No quarters required. Hang on. Do you have a license to hunt at night? Because you need a license. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were serious. Come on now. You know I don't give a f Fresh air, real weapons, an honest kill. There is no substitute for the real thing. You want to go back and play that video game, don't you? Yes. Damn it. This is a great idea. Fresh air, no screens. I'm getting really good at chopping wood, too. You're a regular Paul Bunyan. Ow! I got stung by the wood. Oh, no, it's a splinter. I need to get on WebMD now. I need an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy, something with 4G. There's no time for the edge network. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! Got it. I still think we should find a computer in Google sterilization techniques. Yeah, I have a new idea. You need to purge all of this garbage from your system. Talk about all the things you do on those screens and let the words just float away into the fresh air. And then we will be done. Okay, worth a shot. Every day, I start by hitting up Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Sometimes, I like to throw in LinkedIn. For the professional shouties. See, that was easy. Then, I like to go on Reddit. Reddit's great because it has all the important links you need. Wikipedia, mankind's greatest invention. You can learn about anything. Take Ray J, for example. We all know he's a singer, he's Brandy's brother, and he was in that classic sex tape with Kim Kardashian. But did you also know he's Snoop Dogg's cousin? And he was in the 96 Tim Burton movie, Mars Attacks? Suddenly, you're on the Mars Attacks page. I love G-Chat. You can talk to anybody. I hit up Brad.Pitt, wasn't the actor. It's actually a guy named Brad that's a teacher in Pittsburgh. We don't have a lot in common, but we chat quite a bit. Emoji are little cartoons you text instead of words. Instead of saying, what up, boo, you can type what up and then a cute little ghost, because that means boo. There's even a little Indian guy, but he has a turban on, which I think is racist. But the Asian guy also has a racist hat on. And it's like, hold up, didn't Japanese people invent this? Podcasts. There are a million of them, and they're all amazing. 
John Raphael and I have one called Nacho Average Podcast, where we rate different kinds of nachos. But okay, like... that's enough. No more talking. But you told me to get it all out of my system. I had no idea how much you had in your system. This is a real problem, Tom. You are an addict, and you need to change. I've downloaded every episode of Intervention. I know what to do here. You're right. I am an addict. I've hurt all my friends and family with my addiction. I will accept this gift of rehabilitation. I'm proud of you, but also a bit fearful that we're verging on what I call feelings territory. So let's stare at the fire in silence. I've had a breakthrough, Ron. What do you say you chop up some more wood and I'll take your car and go grab some victory steaks? Perfect. All right, here we go. Here we are. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah. I thought it was going to be gross. Holy cow. Ron, it is good to be back. Sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pants king. Bow to me. Bow, I bow. I am the, I am the pants queen. <laughs> what the hell? Bow to the pants queen. When you're out with the boys, you gotta be ready for a good pantsing. That's why I have suspenders that connect my bra to my jeans. Ron P. Diddy Combs. I have to admit, this place is pretty tight. I may interest anyone in some chew. Nice touch, Haverford. Let me get some of that. You sure? Uh, yeah. I would not have pegged you as a user of mouth tobacco. Mm, I'm full of surprises, Ron. Oh, man. My stomach's a little upset. I feel a little queasy. Yeah, that might be the chew. You could spit it out. I swallowed it. You're supposed to swallow it, right? No. <sighs> All right. Poor little buddy. Why do they call it chew and not swallow? Am I right, Ron? Yes, you are right. All right, safety basics. Donna. Tell me why it's bad to look down the barrel of your gun. Is that a trick question? No, Donna, don't, please. Rule number one, do not point the weapon at a person. That includes your own face, Donna. Now, every year before we go on our first hunt, we do a toast. So grab a beer. To the hunt. Here, here. And to the hunters. The only way to defeat the beast is to find the beast within. Pretty good. Yeah. Here, here. Yeah. Right on. Cheers. Ron, your toast sucked. The traditional toast is to the hunt, and it is said by me. You surprised that my breasts didn't throw my aim off? Leslie, please. I don't care that you're a girl. I just don't like change. I like going to the same place with the same people, telling the same stories, and seeing who can bag the most turkeys. Well, it seems like you like to go hunting with the same people because you know you can beat them. Hundred bucks says I bag more birds than you. You're on. Let's split up. I do it better alone. Yeah, you do. See? Just one of the guys. Your favorite kind of cake can't be birthday cake. That's like saying your favorite kind of cereal is breakfast cereal. Mm. I love breakfast cereal. Look, some kind of bird. Let's kill it. You talking to me, bitch? What were you aiming at? Nothing. This is such a great day. See, at my house, I got a wife and three beautiful daughters. But this trip, it is the one time of year I get to pee standing up. Mm. Oh, I love that sound. Ah! Ah, I've been shot! Ah! I've been shot! Ah! 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 Somebody shot me in the head! Bula, bula, bula. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ron, I get your hat. Ron, I have your hat. Oh Are you in a lot of pain? I was shot in the head with a shotgun. Ron, it's actually not that serious. I just need you to stay calm, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stay angry. I find that relaxes me. Okay, Ron, we called 911, and they're gonna send a ranger. Oh, damn! This is a mess. 
The Rangers won't let us come back next year. You know what? We're not going to think about that right now. You guys, can you just put him on the day bed in the carcass uh, room? Day bed? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Donna? Donna? Okay. Donna? Okay. Donna? Okay. Donna? Okay. Are you okay? What? Is it your heart? Are you having trouble it's breathing? Like Okay, here's your scotch. Okay, Jerry, Jerry's here. Here's go. your scotch, Ron. There, there we go. go, Ron. Okay. Hey, you know what is great? Anne's gonna take care of you. And Anne is the best nurse in North America. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, what, you okay? Did you, did you shoot me? What? No. There was a bird kind of near me, and I know how desperate you were to prove yourself. No, no, I swear I didn't. Ron, I swear to God, I've never shot anyone. Well, you better find out who it was, and then purchase them a coffin because I'm gonna rip them apart. Okay. Listen, I heard about the accident and I need to know who is responsible. Uh, I don't know, that's the problem. I am. I shot Ron Swanson. You shot my Mercedes? What? No, no, no. What's the story, Ron? Diane making you sell this place? Not at all. Recently, I purchased a new cabin big enough for the whole family. I just can't justify owning four cabins. Two cabins. The new cabin I bought has a great tire swing for the girls, access to a lake for all the kids to play in. Plus, it doesn't have these razor-sharp perimeter defense planks sticking out of the ground. I usually get 5% commission, but I'll do it for three. Friends and family discount. Make it five. I don't want you getting any ideas about us being friends. Respect. Donna, baby. For the fireplace, I'm thinking fake antlers, but what kind of scars do we want to hang out the fake antlers? Oh, duh, crocheted. Most staff. That'll look legit next to those antique Visit France posters. Mm. Mm. Ron, you want to stay outside and do nothing while they make your cabin look like garbage? I'd like that very much. We can watch the shadows get longer. OK. These people won't leave. One guy even looked in the bathroom. Yeah, that means they like the place. If you just leave them alone, I think we might get some offers. This evergreen scented candle should help put people in the mood to buy. You could just open the door and let the actual smell of the pines in. Trees are sticky, and they got bugs in them. This place is so random. I don't know, it's kind of like in the middle of nowhere. I know, that's like the hilarious part. It's like a joke how long it takes to get here. It's like a meta cabin. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, it's meta. That's what I said, yeah. I heard that Dave Eggers wrote a short story about this tape cassette that he found under that tree over there. Oh, my god. What are you doing? Trying to get these annoying dum-dums to pay more money for your cabin. Carry on. Oh, my god, I heard that Nico Case and Ben Gibbard made out here once. What? No, thank you. I will let him know. That was that couple you liked at the open house. I despised them. Well, they just came back with a new offer. And check that shiz up. Way over asking price. Ron, who cares who they are? That's a massive bid. I will be a mogul. I bought that cabin 18 years ago for $2,200. I do not care about the money. I can't even understand what you're saying right now. That cabin served an important purpose for me, as a quiet refuge from the nonsense of modern life. I'd like the next owners to understand and share that purpose. Find me someone like that, and I'll happily sell. I'll buy it. You can't afford that house. Can you afford that house? What would you use it for? I'd go up there and take Andy and Champion and just get away from everyone else and look at spiders. And it's where I'd bury the bodies of that annoying couple after I murder them. Here's my offer. I will give you everything in my purse. Um, Eight dollars, a bunch of loose cock drops, and Larry's asthma inhaler. Thank God, I've been looking for that. Larry, one. this is part of a real estate transaction now. You have no legal claim to it. Sorry, I had no idea. <laughs> this is the best offer I've heard yet. Uh, you tripping right now. Sold. Don't even trip. Your commission. Thanks a lot. Your share, mogul. Mm -hmm.